Let's bring in now acclaimed chef and the owner of several restaurants in Georgia. Hugh Atchison is joining us now. He is not on board with Governor Kemp's decision. Hugh, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You tweeted yesterday evening, quote, to anyone who wants to hear it, I am the leader of my restaurants. I will say when we reopen, I will, it, it will be when I feel it is safe for those I employ, my family, my customers. No one tells me when to open, period, and not on Monday. What motivated you to tweet that? I saw the writing on the wall that there was a lot of pressure coming from the local and state and local and state government to get a functioning economy again. And we're totally into that idea. But we have not laid the groundwork for a safe reopening system right now. Um, our restaurants have been cooking food for in need populaces and medical communities. But we're just not ready to accept the general population right now. Georgia is tested at a really extremely low level overall, and that uh, is very worrisome to us. So when you hear the president say what he did this evening, that he disagrees strongly, do you think the governor will change his mind? Um, I think they maybe need to talk to each other um, a little bit more. I don't know. Um, you know, it's the strangest mix of businesses that they're reopening. It's tattoo parlors, it's uh, waxing salons, hair salons, and these are all on Friday, bowling alleys, and then on Monday, restaurants can reopen. Um, and obviously, it's not a mandatory push. We're independent businesses. We're privately held. But it's, it's a push where people want us to do that in some ways, and it's just not a, a safe time. Chef, how are you thinking about when you could reopen? I mean, we're thinking we're... We're thinking about three weeks away if, if everything goes the way we hope it will go. But I need to create a really big manifesto on how we're proving to ourselves, how we're proving to our employees, how we're proving to the population that wants to come dine with us, why we are safe and why they should feel at home and, and treat our place as a place of respite, which restaurants should be. Mentioned you had several restaurants in the state of Georgia. You employ 140 people. What is the status right now with your workers? Well, um, two of the restaurants I own outright, and those ones successfully got PPP. We're very lucky. So we've retained everybody back onto payroll. So it's our concern now. We've got the eight-week clock ticking. And a lot of people, 80% of them are still working at home, while 20% of them produces food for World Central Kitchen, and we deliver to in-need populations in medical facilities. So that's what uh, Chef Jose Andres is, is doing. We're, we're aware of that. And we've spoken uh, with a number of chefs uh, here in the New York area who are, who are helping uh, there as well. So you got PPP money for a couple of the restaurants. Are you still trying to get more money for some of your other uh, properties? Not at this time. The other property is a management deal, which we have with a, a beautiful new hotel in downtown Atlanta, and they're responsible for doing their own PPP application, and that's pending. Did you pay rent in April, and could you pay it on May 1st? How's that working? Uh, we can definitely pay rent now. Uh, we're, we've got a good amount of cash set aside. I actually sold a lot of caterings for the next two years in advance and found a lot of very kind people who bought them. And it gave us some flexibility and cash flow to uh, deal with them, some things like that. So we can come to arrears and fix that. We've negotiated with landlords for uh, a kind of uh, mitigated or lessened rent situation for the next few months. And then we'll come to terms with them a little bit later. You thinking now about what your restaurant will look like or what your many restaurants will look like when you're able to reopen? different size, the number of people you'll be able to put in there, and how that will affect your business overall? It'll be the same size, but it'll have a lot less tables. Um, you know, I think we're probably going to have to go on a 50% seating profile. My restaurants, we're lucky because we have a good amount of space to branch out to. They're relatively large footprint restaurants with a lot of outdoor space. So I think that'll be an appeal factor. As my industry as a whole, um, we're really worried that the public is, is going to be reticent to come back, uh, that we're not going to be able to give our, give our best efforts and do the job that we, uh, we fell in love with.